second. It looks like he's One of those things that Pettis talked about doing. He said, I have to keep going for this mission. It's what I do. And now here he is again attacking. Oh, he's adjusting That's his tight. triangle. That That's is it. tight. That is, that super is tight. tight. And he's got an arm, too. There. He's got it. He's he got it. Showtime is moved. Oh. Anthony Showtime Pettis submits Michael Chiesa. Outstanding. That is a huge, huge win for Anthony Pettis. And here's it didn't work on me. It didn't work on me. Although. Here we go. Left right hand down the middle, just clips him. Next thing you know, he follows it up, goes straight to the guillotine here. It's a good try, and then he, he's able to throw up this triangle. Once he pulls down on that ankle, and he starts cinching and breaking down the posture of Kiesa, then he grabs that leg. That stops any kind of defense from Kiesa, and that locks in that triangle, makes it so tight. Then he switches, he's got the arm too. That was the end, that's all she wrote. With 178 back at UFC 137, Nate is taunting him here. He just landed a really nice uppercut inside. Big power shots there by Nate. Nate and grabbing onto the takedown. Look at this, guillotine choke, this power is trouble guillotine. For Miller. It's a power guillotine, Mike, that is very deep. Can Diaz be the first to finish him? Can he choke him out here? Well, he's got one arm that's trapped here. He's gonna try it again. Miller trying to break free. He's gonna tap, he's gonna it tap. It is that's all it. over! It is all over! Nate Diaz becomes the first man <laughs> to stop Jim Miller! You gotta love the way he celebrates. What? He <laughs> gets in front of the camera. Of course, there were big moments for Tamer in that first yeah. round with a knockdown, but he did lose the point, so you had, at the very least, it's a 9-9 round, but perhaps oh! a 10-8. Four arm shiver there from Oli Vetta. This is it! Who's Let it go! Charles Oli Vetta trying to end the fight. Tamer with the hail Mary by the submissions. He's going to try it for another submission. And there is the turn. He continues to pile onto his record. Charles, two blocks, Oli Vetta. And then boom, uppercut all over him here. Tamer doesn't know what's going on. Oliveira's having a field day. Grabs the neck. And then once you've rocked, once you've wobbled like this, you've got no, no sense of really what's going on. So it's no surprise that he got the submission. He's looking to try to slap a triangle on him, and those legs will come up quickly. Just as they come up quickly to kick, he's going to throw them up quickly to try to submit him as well. Submission of the night against Efrain Escudero. Submission of the night of Elkins. And he's looking for another one here. He's got to look out for the triangle as well. Miller's in trouble here, Mike. He's Loose out of for it. now, yep. The kids, are, the legs are like arms, man. Now he's attacking the leg. Crazy busy. Yeah, he just keeps going, you know? He just chains one thing into next. Oh, and it took him down. Look, he's going for a leg lock. Big shots to the body. Jim's got a leg lock. It is all over! It is all over! Jim Miller submits Charles Oliveira! Oh, man! Wow! Seconds remains in the round. Another elbow. Oh, oh big that's a punch. big left. Slippery as they are, he's going to go for the choke. Well, the, you know what, Mike? The slipperiness actually helps chokes. He's got that one arm trapped. Notice that? BJ's really good at that. He traps that left arm. I mean, that's that physical dexterity that he has with his legs. He's got the choke. Here we that's go. It. That's it. That's a wrap. It is all over. BJ Penn is the UFC lightweight champion. And now Gaethje goes inside and lands. Nermago Metal back to the well with that front kick. Oh, beautiful takedown by Nermago Metal. He gets the back. Wow. Right into the full mount. I mean, that was a fantastic transition with a lot of time. He's gonna go right back to that same position. Oh, he's going triangle here. Setting up triangle into the arm bar. Oh, triangle choke by the Mega Metal. Oh, as Gaethje goes back, shot. Oh, it's over. It's over. He's tapping. It looks like he's It looked like he was going to go to an arm triangle, but immediately he goes back into the same position as the first round. It looked like he was going to attack armbar, 
but instead he goes triangle. I mean, I've seen him do this before in the rest, in the practice room, but I have never seen him pull it off in a fight. Didn't know if he would be comfortable enough to try it. Watch his left arm, John. There's a tap. There's, the first There's a tap, second right. tap. You know, he tapped four times again, and um, eventually he passed out, and Habib keeps that championship. Joe's going to sweep him. He's going to sweep him. Uh -oh. Very nicely done by Joe Lozon. Triangle. He's got to secure it. He's got to get that right foot into the knee. He's got it. Can he, can he finish it? Can he force He's the tap? He's got to pull down on the head. It's very close here. Jamie's almost out of it, though, Mike. Farner remaining very calm, Joe. Where Jamie's face is, now it's deeper. Now it's deeper. Now he's got it. It's all over! Joe Lozon, winner by submission! What a fight! Beautiful job by Joe Lozon. Double overhooks. Joe Lozon gets that left butterfly in, flips him over, gets on top of him, and then in the transition, watch how he switches to the triangle, gets that right leg over the neck, boom, locks it under, gets that left, that right foot under his left knee, tightens it down, squeezes, drops a few elbows down. Joe Lozon real close to finishing here, and now he tightens it up, tightens it up even further, gets his hands together, pulls it down, and that's a wrap. To my count, Joe. Anthony tried a little showtime, he tried and to ends up, up on his back, back. yeah. yeah. Those were four good body shots. And those will pay off as the rounds go on. Yes. There's the armbar. Beautiful job. Time to work. 40 seconds. That is a tight armbar, man. That is a tight armbar. He taps. It is all over. Anthony Pettis is the UFC. Same dangerous guard. Look how quickly he did that. Trapped it, locked it up. And Benson's trying to defend, but man, that is a nasty, deep guard with some strong legs that are very fresh. And he's pulling out there, and that's it. Penn fought twice last year. The first time he had competed more than once in a calendar year since 2011. So. An extended layoff in advance of this one, but still keeping a more active schedule than normal. Oh, that's oh, Dante! Ryan Hall God. submits PJ Penn oh, in goodness. a blink! Oh my goodness. That's his signature move, and he's done that in every fight he's had. And here we see there's the kick, he dives, and look how he like immediately locks into this, and BJ has to tap. I mean, it was just perfect. Perfect, and it's incredible leverage on one of the weakest parts of that joint. Look how he does this. Like he rolls in, he's got his legs in perfect position. He turns the heel, and it's just nasty. Kurt Pellegrino's got to be careful here. He is starting to tee off. He stays tight, holds onto the leg, taking him for a ride. Brings him down, but he's got to look out for a triangle. He's got to look out for that right leg. If Nate Diaz gets that right leg over, he's got it. He Pulling locks it down. down. Nate now Diaz says he's going to win. So look at double, Nate Diaz. Double fingers and a fully locked and tight. It is a slaughter. Whoa. Nate Diaz by submission. He knew he yeah. had it. Outstanding performance by young Nate Diaz. Wow. Here's the takedown. Now, and the takedown, those long legs and Nate Diaz, he holds onto the head. And as soon as he gets that right leg over his left, and puts that foot in place under the knee. Bang, look at that. Double thing, he knew he had it. That's a tight triangle, squeezes, doesn't even pull the head down and finishes it. Here's one more look, and that's beautiful. Look at that, he flexes and gives you double fingers. 